Our main point of discussion for today is the number one in the world for pranks on the court. The Harlem Globentrotter of world tennis, a true showman, Mr. Mansoor Barami. If you are a true fan of the sport, you have definitely seen this guy brought plenty of joy to the faces of fans on the world and still continues at the age of 65. Yes, 65. Well, we all have been and still digging endless of Mansoor's footage and shorts on YouTube. With his large gray mustache, open collar shirt, and madcap humor, Barami is instantly recognizable. Whether it's pretending to eat a tennis ball, a mad trick shot, or acting like a bemused onlooker admiring his own ace serve. He is great value. He is the Jim Carrey, Robin Williams, Laurel, or Hardy of the courts. As watching engrossed in his captivating game, an intriguing thought must slipped into your consciousness. Where has this enigmatic individual ventured throughout the past years? And why haven't we heard about him until recently? It's fair to say that the Iranian Mansour Barami chose to go for the clowning around option after having only gone as far as the second round in his singles career at Grand Slams. And that's no disrespect to Barami because no one can delight crowds like he does. Rod Laver, the former longtime world number one, called him the most naturally gifted tennis player ever. It's some claim. But when you see some of the impossible shots he pulls off, all the while catching returns in his pocket, you start to believe it. But if he was so good, why did he not get further than qualifying at Wimbledon? Well, that's because the rulers in his home nation blocked his path to success. At a young age, in a country where tennis was reserved for the elite and rich, the Iranian Mansoor did make his way against all odds to the national team and playing in the Davis Cup. As the young Mansoor found the track of his success, Al Khomeini took power of Iran in 1980. Suspicious of the Western game, courts were closed and the sport was banned. Mansoor could have left his life and family behind and surrendered his Iranian identity, but he refused. When rules were relaxed, three years later, Barami was back on court, and after winning a tournament in Tehran, he managed to go to Paris with no assurance of his financial needs, while struggling to live a day by a day. His French visa eventually ran out and became an illegal immigrant. He waited until 30 years old when, luckily, his skill and poise with a racket started to pay off. Barami was allowed to join the ATP as a professional at the age of 30 and became a dual French national in 1989. He commented about it, I lost nine years of my life. All my best results came after the age of 30. I was 33 when I reached the French Open doubles final. Am I angry? No, I'm not angry. I feel I'm a very lucky man. As someone who give joy with generosity, you would never tell that he have seen real struggle in his life. And as someone who faced many revolutions, accidents, and obstacles, despite all of that, he never give up on playing tennis as his main profession. Today at 65, he still does, although he has not been the champion. He has become a legend. In his own ways, 